so much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Deontay Wilder, he is the bronze bomber. Six foot six. Deontay. Riddick, Big Daddy Bo. The this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, an Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here. At they ring the bell, and here we go. That jab won't score. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. There was so much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Just miss with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Swinging big and missing big with that hook. Going down to the body, that's smart. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be a, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Let's talk about Wilder in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Oh, this is a slugger right here in front of us. You know these kind of fighters? They want to get hit in the face because it cheese them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. Downstairs and up. start the first half of this round so the referee says he can continue but how much more does he have left hard oh, he's up I, I, i'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner and if he does will he get back up from the stool again that was a shot what resilience to be down and to be back up again to get yourself back into fight again to show your fitness and determination maximum respect 
Nice counter shot. Quick punch scores. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more act. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Wilder in that last round. They get one minute between rounds. This fighter wished it was 10 minutes after being dropped twice in the last round. They believe that fighter has it in the tank. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. This is the type of fighter that would say, I don't even want rounds. Let's just fight until one of us can't stand up anymore. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to brawl. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. When you find somebody so big, this is where you've got to stick to your game plan. You deviate, you're out of there. Nice. The defense failed them. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell them when they go back to the corner? They're in trouble. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Let's talk about Wilder in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. They ring the bell, and here we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure in. This is the kind of fight you expect from two world-class elite middleweights. There's a counter shot. We wanted action, and they are delivering. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. We wanted action and they are giving us action. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Oh, and they got rocks! What a... This could be... back up now but they've got to be cautious cannot afford to trade back now can they Johnny not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go let's 
Talk about Wilder in that last round. Let's see how the game... And there's the bell to start the round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. That counter punch caught him clean. It's bombs away. In the build-up to this fight, Johnny, this power puncher told us, listen, I don't care if it's round one or round 12, I've got enough power and confidence to end this in one shot. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight, it's the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Do you know the amazing fights at middleweight? Oh, ridiculous. That is what lights our history book. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. When you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be, uh, you know, the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Beautiful counter punch. Let's talk about Wilder in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Hey. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. It's always fascinating to watch two good welterweights because they've got blurry hand speed and good power. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. What skill being displayed here between these two middleweights? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That counter shot lands. <laughs> Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. Nice job getting that punch through. What a nightmare scenario! One, two, three, four, five, six! Let's talk about Wilder in that last round. So it's plan B time after being... And there's the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. 
Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to outthink them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fagin to pickpocket them. Punch, counter punch. This fight has a real good flow to it. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. That hook won't score. Well done with that counter shot. They both want a knockout, you can tell. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to... Talk about Wilder in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath. Deep. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this... You watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. That one will count. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Well, you know with featherweights, the hands are going to be flying. A lot of punch output. Couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drama because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are gonna run. Good defense here, pairing off those shots. He threw a punch and just got counted. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. That counter punch caught him clean. And he scores with the counter. No rest for the weary. Swing and a miss with that hook. You'd like to see more jabs. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Wilder in that last round. Well, he is in big... They ring the bell, and here we go. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Oh, my goodness. What pace? What pace? They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. And he wasn't ready for that counterpunch. 
And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Nice counter shot. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Hey, those punches add up. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice counter. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. One punch could change the entire complexion of this fight. That counter shot lands. Only catching air with that hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well done with that counter shot. Let's talk about Wilder in that last round. And a round that seemed like he turned it. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Generally speaking, you don't watch heavyweights to see a boxing match. You want to see a fist fight. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it. Because you've got to get some before you get in close. Just missing. Oh, no, he's down for the count. He surely is not getting up from this. So they will throw in the towel. The corner has stopped it. They won't be happy about that, but say la vie. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. 